If you need to feed live video into a computer and it's from an HDMI source, either a camera or a graphics card, and you're looking for a device that's portable, versatile yet easy to use, Magewell have a USB solution that fits in the palm of your hand. Their XI100D USB 3 capture dongles are available in two versions, one with HD SDI and the other one with HDMI, like this one. Just plug in the video source, connect the USB 3 cable to the PC and the device will automatically be installed on the PC as if it was a standard webcam. The red light indicates it's getting power and the green light shows activity over the USB bus. More than one dongle can be connected to the same PC and there's no drivers to install. And that's great if you need to use them on a variety of different machines, particularly so if they belong to other people and those people don't want extra driver software installing on their systems. The other good news is that it's compatible with a wide variety of USB 3 host controllers, including those found on motherboards with the Intel Ivy Bridge and Haswell chipsets. You'll notice that the way the video input appears on the Windows is as an imaging device, just like a webcam. This is unlike many video capture devices, which appear as sound video and game controllers. Why this is significant is that some video software is primarily designed to work with webcams, so it might not accept video from other types of capture devices. Looking at the Device Manager Properties panel, you can see that the Magewell USB 3 dongle is using the default Microsoft driver. This means it'll always work with any Windows application that expects the input to be from a webcam. This includes things like Skype, Google Plus Hangouts, Flash Media Live Encoder, Wirecast, VidBlaster, vMix or XSplit. As for the audio, the USB 3 dongle shows up in the list of Windows recording devices and it'll decode standard stereo audio that's embedded in the HDMI feed. In other words, plain, simple, uncompressed PCM stereo audio. It can't deal with things like Dolby Stereo or surround sound encoding. Let's look now at how the device appears in an application like VidBlaster. In the list of video sources, it appears as an XI100D USB HDMI device. And if you look in the resolution setting at the list of video pixel sizes, you'll see a list that looks like this with sizes that go from 640 by 360 all the way up to full HD 1920 by 1080 and beyond. And it'll capture a range of frame rates up to 60 frames per second. At the electronic input, the video resolution is always detected automatically. So what you're seeing here in the software is what the dongle is actually passing over the USB bus. Any scaling and frame rate resampling is done in the dongle itself. If you don't want the video to be processed externally, make sure you set the video resolution in the software to match the external source. The Magewell dongle is ideal for capturing computer output. When it's connected to a graphics card output, it appears like a multi-standard monitor, offering a wide range of PC and broadcast video resolutions and frame rates. This makes it quite easy to duplicate most resolutions used by the main display whenever this is required. In this example, the source PC is running in duplicate display mode at 1280x720 and an HDMI output is connected to the dongle. The dongle is then connected via USB 3 to a second PC running flash media encoder and we're screen capturing the output of that. We've been doing all this using a USB 3 connection, but it's worth mentioning that the Magewell dongle will work in a limited way when connected to a USB 2 port. Of course, you'll only get full resolution and full frame rate if you use a USB 3 port, and that's because USB 2 doesn't have the bandwidth to support a full frame rate at the higher resolutions. Sometimes, though, that's not as big a limitation as it may first appear. For example, you may want to capture a PowerPoint presentation. You want the slides in HD, but they don't actually change very quickly, certainly not like the frames of a normal video. So in this instance, being able to capture full resolution over USB 2, albeit at a lower frame rate, 
is probably a perfectly acceptable compromise. Alternatively, you might have a camera source that you need to stream, which only outputs full HD at 1080, and you need a full 30 frames per second to avoid jerky movement. Without compression, 1080 at 30 frames a second generates more data than a USB 2 bus can handle. But if you're streaming at a lower resolution, let's say 640 by 360, you can take advantage of the fact that the dongle scales the video before it sends it over the USB 2 bus. So setting the device output to 640 by 360, even though it's been scaled from a 1080 source, will actually work over a USB 2 connection. So that's pretty much it. The XI100D USB 3 dongle is small. It's easy to use. It handles a wide range of uncompressed video resolutions. It emulates a webcam and a standard audio recording device, and that gives it great compatibility with host applications. What more could you ask for? Giving them away free in breakfast cereal packets? I guess they don't do that sort of thing anymore, so you'll just have to buy one for yourself.